Um, psychiatric sales of food, what exactly is it like? What exactly did I have on my mind? Well, you know, if you type inside of the Google search engine, Ribishka Karta Novo Mesto, and then basically you get what you see right there uh, is in front of you. And what exactly is in front of you Let me just see something here, because this is the second time I am video recording this stuff here. Yeah, uh, cannot be evident from here. And so I'm going to enter another search engine here from another browser, and we'll repeat the procedure because uh, first of all, when I started to record this video, I did not have a capacity, any kind of information I would access in respect to the fishing licenses from the Novo Mesto Fishing Association, for which I think it's the most expensive fishing association in the world. This is a psychiatric fishing association right out on open that... And hmm, I don't know how the hell that appears. But I get exactly the same thing again. Um, the way this operates, the way they do this stuff, I can tell you this, based on what I'm going to use here as a Google search engine to demonstrate you what exactly happened, is by basically going through this stuff here. It works like this, look. Ribishka Karta Novo Mesto Google Search. And when I did this stuff, uh, it would, yeah, again, the same thing. Ribishka Karta Novo Mesto. It's a fishing license, Novo Mesto. Karka is the name of the river. It should give me exactly what you have seen a little earlier did came out as. Yeah, and that's basically the link here that you see here. Dovolinitz, Ribeska Drzina, Novo Mesto. It could have been that this is something specific, but I found it really outlandish that if you write down a, a fishing license, city obviously is a Novo Mesto and Kirk obviously is a river, which is identical to this stuff here. Um, without my even entering uh, Kirka is a river and getting completely different results. This is what fucks me up here a little bit. It actually fucks me up a lot because it would offer me the results like you see here that I visited, like this one here, where I would not even have ability to access the information for the fishing license, because it would push me in my head the fishing licenses uh, that have nothing to do with reality, basically. Obviously, daily fishing licenses, uh, fishing licenses for the Huchen, Hucho, Sulets. Taiman also, it's known in Mongolia. Um, Trouts and catch and release licenses. 
nothing to do with reality, and this does not belong to the normal Mesto Fishing Association. It belongs to somebody else, it's like a private company where they would absolutely not provide any information whatsoever. Um, the way this operates with a Google search, I have to inform you about this, is that it would throw on the top of the results uh, all sorts of links that would not be associated in absolutely any way with what you see here is started to pop me up uh eventually it started to pop me up the costs from the fishing association novel mesto associated with a fishing license it's not normal because i did not access i have not seen this if we go back to the history here uh i could not access to this information in absolutely any way and so I started to go and search and search and search on the internet. And the way this stuff is done, according to information from the Google people alone, was that once I would access, so this is coordinated with the United States of America, this stuff. Once I would access the link from the Fishing Association, this link, which is the link from the Fishing Association of Novo Mesto, then it would actually start to give me the information that I need so that I could complete this video. Otherwise, uh, I would not even have the ability to see this link. This link will not even pop up under the search results on Google. So the Google is up to also something else. They're also using some kind of a phishing type of scam as to hiding, omitting the information that victim would use to search basically for till he would find that information. And once you would find that information, this phishing scam from Google would then utilize that information to portray you, victim, if you were in my skin, as if everything is normal with the internet, as if information is actually accessible to you. This was involved in MK Ultra. It was Sergei Brin Mikhailovich from Moscow who told me that this is a Google founder together with Larry Page uh, that they would utilize this principle. Yes. So if we go back to the history here, you know, the phishing scam is a phishing scam and don't think that google alone is not using a phishing scam that is also the type of the phishing scam about which however nobody is talking about i wonder why why so there is no way i can access the fucking information and I keep coming back to the same link. Look, I'm catching myself really for the middle finger here. I'm wasting minutes here. In fact, 11 minutes, I keep searching so that I could just find out what the cost is for the fishing license at Novo Mesto Fishing Association. I did stop to the Novo Mesto Fishing Association the other day, uh, also just to be harassed. Uh, and but I think it's more important that was this fishing association, which was involved since my one year of age, would finally in final stages uh, in 2008, when I returned back from Slovenia, and that was actually in 2007, 2008, yes. Um, once I have purchased the fishing license, just as I was told the case is going to be, uh, it's a very expensive fishing license. Like I said, these are the most expensive fishing licenses in the world. Uh, what they would do is they would dispatch psychiatry behind me. So I would pay about, I don't know, 220 or 250 euros, if not more, for the fishing license in 2008. And the next thing you would have psychiatrists knocking on my door. 
and was compelled to literally learn for life out of Slovenia because Slovenian police, which became literally accused of deliberately uh, not investigating, deliberately not assisting me with stolen car parts, and began to even engage in harassment against me, uh, postponed, uh, would not investigate deliberately, declined to investigate once I reported the crime, which was completely evident, uh, became accused of what I stated, the crimes, uh, and did not have other way out than dispatch psychiatrists, literally, at my doorsteps, in my home, who began to harass me with a psychiatric procedure against me. They were all involved in MPUltra, by the way, if not live in Slovenia. Yeah, that was in 2008. Uh, one time within the last almost 40 years is when I was purchasing myself a fishing license on this river. One time within the last, uh, uh, well, the last time was when I exited Slovenia. That was in 1995, actually 40 years, not, uh, not 40 years, uh, 30 years, right? 95, yeah, 30 years, yeah? One time I was fishing on a Kirka River with my fishing license. That was actually in 2007 when I came from United States and with my savings, I purchased myself this fucking psychiatric Slovenia, Slavyansky, Slavansky license. Now you can go and you can fish in Slovenia. Slovenia, Slavensky, Slavansky, Slavujko, Slavuj, Milosevic, Vukojepkovic, Milan Kuchanovic, Putanovic, Putan, greatest of the great, Slovenia. This, the colors that you see right here with the same Ruski flag. As the Bush said, this is a heaven. This is a little piece of a heaven. It is. I'm not going to say it is. It, it, it is. It is. Psychiatric piece of heaven. I don't think that George Bush ever had a bigger heaven in British royals than this one here. Paruski. Ruski heaven, this kind of heaven, the hell on earth heaven. Vuko Yebina, this type of heaven that is actually allowed to participate inside of the European Union, it is actually allowed to be a member of United Nations, it's actually allowed to even participate in Security Council at United Nations. I couldn't find this stuff anywhere. I couldn't find even the fucking price online for what was 504, that's almost like for 15 minutes. And I finally came across, because I couldn't, I was looking for these links, I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it was nowhere to be found. But what's interesting, the efficient scam works like this, that once you go to the link, this link will start to appear to you. So still I'm going to go back to this opportunity here. Ribiška karta novo mesto, no. Ribiška karta novo mesto, cena. No information, no information. Ribiška družina novo mesto. So started to look for the fishing association in the novo mesto. And I access this here. This was the link that I access. That gave you like a stupid stuff like this. 
without giving you any ability to see anything. Now that's the Kirka River, and the Kirka River, uh, this is not novel, yeah, well, in a way. In, in this Kirka River, then you had to go, this is a private link, this is what they would push. You completely cover up, even ability to see on the internet. Uh, the basic information about basically how to buy the fucking ticket. Fishing license in the Novo Mesta city. You have to go and you have to choose what is expected of you. This is completely insane because they give you some kind of little rivulets. Uh, and then you get also Mercedes of us. This, this would be the department that you would look into. This one here. From all this here, from these options, you would go and you would have to choose the option that I demonstrated you so that you would get information about portion of the Kirka River where you could go and fish. Of course, if you would purchase the license. In here, still, you get no information. You get nothing. Like I said, I was the other day at Kirka Novo Mesto Fishing Association, but I really wanted to video record this stuff. I really wanted to dedicate this to Slovenia. Slovensky, this video. Also to United Nations, because if I would work at the United Nations, I would feel disgraced. If I would really work for United Nations, I would not feel good about this stuff. I would be ashamed to go inside of the building at United Nations knowing that I serve the institution that is a psychiatric institution, that is an institution that solely serves to psychiatry. World Health Organization was involved in it. That's a branch of United Nations with disgracing represent its representatives involved in this extermination procedure against me for the sake of the Vladimir Putin, for the sake of Milan Kuchanovic, for the sake of Slobodan Milosevic, for the sake of Karadzic, for the sake of Mladic. I'm just giving you like the biggest names from the world of the Slavic people. Names to which Andrzej Duda Mateusz Morawiecki, let's say from Polski, Polacki, uh, Kaczynski, Valenza, all these big people, Slavic people, you know, the Slavic pride worldwide. What is the name of the new squad? It's going to be Slavia. It's going to be a Slavia, Slavojko. Slavojko is going to be. Knew about. But they wouldn't do anything. In fact, they actually even sided against me because I was an evil neo-Nazi bastard. Same as to what applied to the Roma community in Slovenia, to whom Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, Tanya Fajon, Danilo Turk, Janes Drnovšek, and all the prominent people together with all the people who knew about all this, such as Janes Jansha, Dmitri Rupel, Igor Baucar, all the, like we say in Slovenian, Velikani, Velikan, Velikan, this is like a mighty people in Slovenia, like a like a big man, like a, like important, like a statements, like some kind of graph, you know, kings of this country, of this nation, this glorious Slovenian, this glorious Slovenian nation, this mighty Slovenian nation, this eternal Slovenian nation that fought its tremendous fight against the Nazism for all the justice of all the people. They have this song. 
Живена и си народи, ки хрепене до чака дан, да кодар солнце ходи. Препир и света найбо прегнан, красна си хчи планин. Луна си, фокин луна си. Next to this, Slovenian Psychiatric Fashion Association, they were compelled together with their uh, British uh, London 1-800 cabal. To also employ impoverished Roma community against me. So that in my life, which consisted of MK Ultra beatings, torture, bestiality performed on me since early childhood, I would feel for everything I was tutored inside the school, sitting inside of the classes and listening about Adolf Hitler, neo-Nazi Germany, how it did try to exterminate small nations, small nations are always victims, Slovenian small nation, victim together with the Roma people, with the Jews, with the Slavic people. And don't get me wrong, it's true. This is true. It's fact. that I began, despite my own family already listed as good to go to extermination camp during the World War II, some family members even killed by the Germans. I wouldn't say neglect, but they employed this Roma community, they employed one for the torture purposes, indifferent from those, I think that not even prisoners in Guantanamo undergo. They used this type of fishing association, which president they elected themselves. Slavyansky elected themselves as a president of this fishing association here, local in Novo Mesto, a Serb, who was a police officer and was directly involved in torture. They will deliver here Serbs literally for fishing and for the physical torture, offering as a tourism physical torture in Slovenia. Practice, say, come for torture to Slovenia, not only fishing. And you can have a Slovenian native and you can do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. In fact, the guy because of whom Slovenia exists as an independent nation. This is what this psychiatric novo mesto Fashion Association, that's why I dedicate this. The sale of the psychiatric food, it has to be also dedicated also to the Novo Mesto Fishing Association because this fishing association did more cost, more damage than anybody did. They were di involved directly in a physical torture and hoped eventually the other day when I came to the fishing association, I would get myself into a fight with them. So they could, there was a police officer they would call during MK Ultra, and it was always this police officer, two, three, four police officers that would rush, and this police officer during MK Ultra at this seat in the Novo Mesto city where this fishing association is located, they would just grab me and throw themselves on me, demonstrating me that as soon as they're going to call the phone for the police, there will be exactly the assigned police officer that will come and throw himself on me, basically. You just go there, ask for license, and they start to bully, harass, and the next thing you're going to see, you're going to get, is basically police on your neck. Even if you're going to start arguments or whatever, it's going to be arguments they would go on about and create bigger arguments and eventually have police dispatched to arrest you and so on. 
They tried that a few days ago when I stopped at the police, at the Novo Mesto Fishing Association. They even tried that stuff. If all other stuff I have spoken about, still, this video is about the most expensive fishing license in the world. So the local psychiatrist Peter Kaps could sadistically continue to sell his psychiatric food. That's what this video is all about. This video is about something completely, completely different. This is about other issues that are involved in it that I want world to know how far you have assisted Slovenian state in this. Actually, so that people around the world will pay attention to United Nations with ability to have something, reference, they can use in the future to point out that the United Nations is not doing the job and are in fact abusing its authority to support extermination procedures against the people in the so-called first world, like myself. So insane stuff went on. Parallel, since my childhood, since age one, parallel to the stuff that I had to listen when sitting behind the table in a grammar school from the first grade and up through the high school about how Hitler did this, how Hitler that, how uh, so insane that I started to literally take the side of more insane. So insane that I started to take the side. I never, I never was taking the side of the Nazism or something like this. I never ever did. But I started completely to neglect the history where I came from, my family, everything about my family. And I started to simply consciously reject the notion about how we are part of the nations that won the war against the Nazis in the end of World War II. Take pride in it, take ownership in it. And so the world I'm talking about, they have created together with the London, with 1-800-London cabal, with a Jew from American Equal Employment Opportunity, not only Jew from Israel, but the Jew from London, the Jew from Berlin, all of the Jews that stepped together. If you remember how they insist upon the fall of the Soviet Union, there is a new threat that emerges. It's a threat of the neo-Nazism. Well, this is the stuff they started since my kindergarten, before that, since my age one. So insane, the world, my world, the, the world that I was in, had to be so fucking insane. So fucking impossible, insane, that one would actually surpass the war crimes Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany committed during the World War II with Italian Mussolini, Imperial Japan. So fucking insane it had to be. especially due to the reasons that I stated. So they could continue their thesis, their theory about emergence of the new threat upon the fall of the Soviet Union. That is, emergence of the new Nazism. And this is a theory that is being used at large to burn not only Balkans, but for most people of Ukraine, the same way as to what I have witnessed about have taken place against me. My name 
is this one here. This is my name. And you're going to see other others with the same name, some of which even they have companies registered or whatever. Let me tell you something. I have nothing in common with these people. This here, this is my name. What you see here below is just a disgrace. Even that it's people that even have the same first and first last name. It's nothing other than disgrace. In fact, I'm going to say to you about the Slovenian people one thing. I'm minority in Slovenia. That accounts for about 0 0.0000000000. A lot of fucking zeros with 1%. Out of whatever they have, they say they have now. Now they already have 2.2 million people. Because it's more and more Serbs that move here. That moves here. Just one person out of 2.2 million people. That's me. And when they tell you, wherever you get the so-called Slovenians, around the world, when you ask them, do you know Ausitz Bostian? You ask them, do you know this name here? And when they answer to you, no, I don't, ask them if they know this name. And then if they tell you, yes, we know this name, I don't give a fuck, man. If you take a baseball bat, you get them out of the door on a plane and send them to whatever the fuck they came from. Me, myself, I don't feel like being part of this nation in absolutely any way. Because what this nation, which exists because of me, not because of the men you see, have gone as far as this to erase every trace about my presence on this earth. I don't give a three fuck about what you do with them. They're not my people. They never were my, my witnesses. And they did they, all they possibly could. To avenge. Against humanity. Those who started the World War II. Technically, the World War II was started by the Joseph Stalin, who went ahead to even divide Poland with the Germans by creating a Ribbentrop Molotov plan. How this psychiatric fishing license? I'm going to go back here to this psychiatric fishing license. This is what I call nowhere, this here. But this nowhere, as you see, because of the reasons which I outlined at the beginning of this video, I had to listen on one end how Hitler exterminated, eventually did, 70 million people. I had to listen about Slovenian people. Eventually, it was my family of my own that was already selected to go to extermination camp. Already awaited on a train. At the local train station. About the crimes Germans, Italians committed in the World War II. And on the other hand, experiencing whatever people are experiencing today in life in Ukraine. So, what appears to me completely evident, the sale could go through, the brokerage could go through, because this is what we have going on. We don't have anything other going on than what I started 
at the beginning of this video, which Americans alone, American presidents, American politicians, actually how the new threat emerged from the shadow of the Soviet Union, emergence of the Nazism and so on. It's been used to assemble the Soviet Union back. It's been used to assemble greater Serbian ethnic state back. That's why I said, if it's something like this that comes out, I don't give a three fuck what you do with them, whatever they are. To not know what Slovenia is for you as a human being, this is okay. Do not know my name, that's not okay. Slovenia collectively as a nation not to know its existence, it's okay, it's humane, it's normal. Do not know about my name, that's actually a crime against humanity. That's how I see it. I'm going to put it to you like this. I'm going to go ahead and close this down, all these issues, because we did this stuff. The torture was so intense using minorities, literally here in Slovenia. We only have a Roma minority here. They were doing stuff, disgusting stuff, unbelievable stuff, with idea to present me as an ultimate threat, as an ultimate evil to this world. So they could go and with their, you know, with the Britishes like this and the same shit it had proven to be with everybody else, with these bigger nations. They're always looking for the deal. They're always looking for the bigger deal. And if there is no bigger deal, if there is no deal, what they start to do is they start to incite the countries in the so-called independence. They start the turmoil. They start the revolution. And this is what I use them for. And that's how they managed to break apart these countries in the Soviet Union, Yugoslavia, and so on. And once this is accomplished, the countries become independents. It's time to turn the table around and start the turmoil again from the other end. It's called jam cluster. It's called a clusterfuck, jamming the economy, basically. Making the economy shift from one side to another for so many times until it entirely succumbs itself through the chaos, decays itself into fucking nothing. It's been done throughout the Africa all the fucking time. It's done to me. British have done this to me. Did not start short from even destroying me American citizenship I obtained in 2000. Chechen people, Dagestani people, all these people that you have seen the war, Tajikistani, Tajiks, all these people here, These countries that emerge upon fall of the Soviet Union, they were not that lucky as people still are in Slovenia. They were not that lucky. In exactly the way that I stated to you was done with the Chechnya, empowered to become independent, it's exactly what it was afterwards through selective uh, partnership uh, taken down say Chechnya look at that Abkhazia South Ossetia these are all the countries that emerged from the Soviet Union. Finally, Ukraine. See this? Chechens even won the war against the Russia. They beat the Russia. They got their independence. But it was a Jew from London 
that came to the rescue to the Jew from Moscow. It was a Jew from Washington, D.C. It was a Jew from equal, equal employment opportunity that would continue the extermination procedure. So the theory about the Nazism, about the emergence of the new threat from under the curtain of the Soviet Union would continue to exist. Mr. Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles. Yes, you did your best to push your theories, your extermination procedure, your, you know what this is actually? This is supremacy. This is actually a real neo-Nazism, what you do. And the pretense through the guy through this guise of psychiatric violence, the so-called MK Ultra that you did, using selected contacts and financial resources at the United Nations to compel them into your views against me. See this stuff here? They had a lot of fucking wars all around the Soviet Union, some of which they have even lost. But with the assistance of the London of Americans, they returned back and got those wars fixed. See this here? Georgian Civil War. It's called the Civil War. It's called the Civil War. It's always called the Civil War then. South Ossetian War, Abkhazia War, Transistria War, Tajikistan is Civil War. It's called the Civil War. In Ukraine, it's called the Special Operation. Chechen War, First Chechen War. War in Dagestan, Second Chechen War, Georgian War, it's called the Russo-Georgian War, Russo-Ukrainian War. You at the World Health Organization, you are involved, you are implicated in this stuff, and you allow, you yet to allow this stuff to go on. What's the matter? You're supposed to take care for the health. You, your concern should be the well-being, the well-taking care, the health of the people. Not so, really, in my case. I took, it took me 15 minutes literally to get to the page so that I could video record this here. Finally, I came here. Uh, let me see exactly what exactly I've used to, to get finally to this page here. Yeah, I used this here, and it appears to me that still I didn't get the information. Just as I explained to you, still I wouldn't get information. Still there was no information. I couldn't get to any information. If you would go and, and you would try to get this information here, Ribishke Dovolilnice, total lunacy, man. Finally, I made it here to this place here. Finally. This here doesn't take you anywhere. I didn't finish this link. It doesn't take you anywhere. It's so camouflaged that you would not get, you would not understand. This here would be then, this here would be, this here. You would click this here and then you would get this here. And then it gives you the address of the fishing association. Like, yeah, totally retarded. 
and then he again breaks down and all the issues they have and uh, you would go and again you would again you would have to go here and again you would have to choose uh, uh I don't know maybe here again or what is this here again the same shit you don't get anywhere you don't absolutely it, it repeats the information repeats the information because it's obviously the same link and so you have to click whether you like it or not on Reka Kirka and then you get only the daily fishing licenses that do not actually apply to a person that is a member of this fishing association. This is right there, Ciprinidi plus Roparice. Ciprinids plus what is considered also pike, uh, catfish, and then is uh, bolen. I don't even know what uh, exactly. It doesn't come to me right now what what the name would be. Yeah? But it would cost you seven euros if you were a what is it here, this stuff here? I don't even understand what, what this stuff is. Um, I don't know whether this is for a members um, or non-members, I don't know. Uh, these are where you can use this for. I think that one is for the tourists and another one is maybe for the members or something like this. This would be crazy. This is just for the day fishing. Something like this would definitely not apply to me. So there is in this private company, which is was the only company they use, no accessible information whatsoever in respect to what I am trying to demonstrate online to you right now. No way you could get any information about it. So, um, I was really left without anything other than to uh, write down here, Fishing Association Novo Mesto, so that I would access directly this here, which is the Fishing Association of the Novo Mesto, because entering such thing as fishing license, uh, Novo Mesto Kirka price, it would not give you any kind of result. Uh, like I said, till I would click on the link from this fishing association, not. That means this kind of phishing, uh, online phishing scam conducted by the Google Corporation is being done to literally keep certain people in the dark in respect to certain issues. Once I entered the name Fishing Association Novo Mesto, uh, and well, uh, if you go and you come to the Fishing Association of the Novo Mesto, it's not like this. We're going to go from the beginning. Novo Mesto. You don't actually even have to look for the price for this. Uh, uh, a license, ticket, whatever it is that you want, because they give you this immediately. This is what's interesting, because you write the fucking information, such as I wrote into the into the into the Google engine, such as fishing license, Novo Mesto, Kirka, Cena, which is if I translate to you, fishing license. Novo Mesto is a city, right? So it's Novo Mesto. Kirka is the name of the river. Price is a cost. Tena is a price. And you don't get this kind of result that you're about to see. Here it is. It look it make me look stupid. Look at this. Look how how smart they are. By not explaining myself to you about how this stuff is done, this kind of phishing scam, online phishing scam from Google Corporation, it will make me look mentally retarded. And the stuff I'm talking to you about right now was actually even explained to me. The case is going to be that I should not even bother with it, and so on and so forth. Here you have it. 
fishing association novo mesto you have here uh, the licenses you have here you have even where it says membership fees uh catching fishing whatever so my question to you is why the fuck are you using this kind of an internet phishing scam? How do you dare to do this stuff to the people? This stuff is associated with a psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje. Google, Americans, Jew from the Washington, D.C., made agreement with, contract with. Remember when I told you they labeled me as mentally ill in 2012? But this is the type of issues, this is the type of scam phishing even scam they use on the internet it's not about the phishing licenses only it's just about the phishing scam through the internet they use to portray its victim as mentally ill in the world where you don't have the right to say where you don't have the right to the court i'm not going to say to the second opinion of the psychiatrist because it never was even rationalized that I'm mentally ill. Why would I be mentally ill? But you don't even have the right to the court where you would be trialed. I'm not saying that you would trial somebody, that the case should be, but where you would be trialed and with a judge asking somebody to explain to you issues or something like this. This is the way they operate. This is a fishing Psychiatric Association, City of the Novo Mesto, psychiatric fishing license, the most expensive license in the world. The license to kill, the psychiatric license, killing literally through the use of fishing, membership, fishing, the right to the fishing. You say that uh, mentally ill people don't go fish, don't do, they don't do nothing. Well, it's time to declare, it's time to analyze exactly what exactly does it mean that mentally evil people don't do fishing, they don't do this, they're not activities, not social, isolated, and so on. What exactly that is in a case of fishing in this case? I was fishing, I was registered as a fisherman since my age four, I think. I was the younger fisherman ever. If not earlier than that, I don't know. Um, what is it? Uh, age six? I don't. I don't even know how old I was when I started fishing. If I'm gonna find that fishing license, the first license, uh, I'm gonna look for that. Um, to get the fishing license, I had to go past examination. That was by far worse than uh, passing the car examination and you go and do the car examination it was a piece of cake when compared to the fishing license examination my father who worked for this fishing association and has a, this kind of profession and was the one who harvested fish for this fishing association uh, for entire slovenia actually um he attended school in Belgrade. He made me go through hell before I would get the fishing association license, the right to go fishing. He drove me absolutely insane. Together with his friends at the local fishing association board, also during MK Ultra, they would drive me nuts, insane, mentally ill. And now let's see what exactly developed out of that fishing license, out of that fishing association for better understanding. If I would not present to you with this issue, how the phishing is done literally through the internet phishing, through the Google Corporation, I would be already acknowledged as mentally ill right now, but it took me 15 minutes to get to this fucking place. And you cannot get to this fucking place unless you enter Fishing Association Novo Mesto. It will not give you this stuff. Now it does. It points, obviously, that when you repeat this, it puts the result that you're looking for. It obviously puts one through the algorithm. 
through the artificial intelligence, it puts one to the top of the page. But when I all started, when I entered next to it, even Kirka, I would not get anywhere near to what you see here. It says, Ribishka Drzina Novo Mesto, Reka Kirka, right at the top. You see it? There was nowhere. Instead of that, it would be this here. Ribishka Karte. And, and again, Ribishka Karte. And Facebook. And whatever. Uh, fish cart Kaufen. YouTube Novo Mesto. Uh, Ciprini di Roparice, Fish Karte. Radio Kirka. Uh, and so on and so on and so on, completely cluster fuck me. Do you understand me what I'm saying? Without giving me the ability, to, without giving me the right to access immediately. And it's done so so that I would present that it's 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 not uh, the information is not of, even on the internet and so on. Well now I'll take time to explain why this stuff is being done this way. One issue we finally squared away. You write down the price next to this, the same thing. You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get any kind of information. There is no information whatsoever. So the only thing I'm going to do is basically, even like this, is um, insane that you would not have a cup of, even like this, I'm going to acknowledge you as, as, as sick, as mentally ill, talking about this fishing association. Uh, because even like this, you are being exposed. When I Google this stuff here, you are being exposed for the scam that I demonstrated you earlier. Slovenian police uh, used to threaten me with during MK Ultra on uh, how I would be seen as a mentally ill people. Well, the thing is that if you present uh, yourself here, Ribiška Družina Novo Mesto, and you present this issue here, this kind of stuff, uh, there is no reason that if I enter next to it the name of the river, that you would not present me with exactly the same menu uh, that was just shortly that I demonstrated you, for one thing. Okay? Uh, even if I write down Fishing Association, Novo Mesto, and Price issue, the same thing should apply, obviously, that Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polje, did not make a valid a point here. This clinic here, because it didn't break down already based on what I stated, you failed here, you did not break down information as you advertised during MK Ultra. it would be the case here. It would be so easy. It's so easy to access and so on, and I would be seen uh, as crazy and so on and so forth. No. Even like this in a portion at least, I demonstrated you that when I do stuff like this, the name of the river when I entered the same data, you are not capable to demonstrate to me under the main page which should pop up this kind of menu here what exactly is this menu here this menu here will give you a straight access to the price to the cost of the efficient licenses and even it claims here to the fees so i want to open both of these links this would be fishing license price and this would be the fishing fees um there is another claim i'm going to make to you and actually this is going to be really easy for me to make for that matter what i will do is 
I will address you with this video here to demonstrate you the following. That's what's really spooky to me. The way this stuff is done, the way they... Um, The way this stuff is being done is really is really interesting, spooky, sick. What I have on my mind right now is I visited earlier also this page here, and I could not access the information such as Schlanarina, which are uh, licenses. I think that even this, once I access this menu here, it is displayed to me. I did access this menu uh, when I did go the second time when I started to video record this stuff. Because this is why I started to video record this stuff. Uh, it was too late already because I should video record as soon as I started this stuff. And I failed. I didn't do this. And it was too late. But still, there might be actually something that is going to be like a second alarm there's going to sound a second alarm in respect to these licenses that I can also use against this fishing association. I hope I'm not wrong, but when I did so, uh, I'm not really sure if this here, this Schlanarina here that it says fish and license fees, I'm not sure if this stuff appeared. Because it was really, really like this, that I first, when recording the video, uh, I had to present you with a fishing license fees um, on the top. These are a daily fishing license fees. Uh, that makes no sense. This is not what we're going to be talking about. Uh, and then basically below here that you see here is what you should be paying for your fishing license. What I stated is the most fishing expensive fishing license in the world. That's the video is what all about. But it goes, like I said, it goes beyond this stuff. And I would still not find anything about uh, membership fees anywhere, as it should be the case. I'm going to demonstrate you. Uh, till I would actually read this completely over, and it says here more about the membership. This is fucking crazy. You present me here with this here, with a price, means that you're misleading the public. When you say to me here, and I'm a foreigner, and I come here, and I look at it, and I look at this stuff here for the members, uh -huh, multiple day fishing licenses, that's what you're saying. If you translate, Vagione de Volinense translates the multiple day membership, uh, fishing licenses, it says. And it, it's misleading. It says here, for the, for the members, it says 26 euros. Uh, for the female members, 16 euros. But this is already alarming stuff. And this is also what Slovenian psychiatric hospital staff, together with the Slovenian police, have interpreted to the United Nations, probably people that were inside of this house, on how to lie at the United Nations, on how to lie at World Health Organization, Probably when even watching my videos, I assume that it was must have been something like this. That they had people from United Nations, literally, whom they have lied, misinterpreted information, basically instructed them on how they would lie and misinterpret to the public at the United Nations about my case. That's why it's so important to me. That's why it's so crucial. This stuff is why it's so crucial to me. I'm going to go back here. I, it's going to make sense. It's going to make a whole a lot of fucking sense. Because they accented discrimination. The only thing the, the my best bet will be turned against the women. Yeah, it's go with the with the homophobia, with the racism, discrimination. Also, they want the chauvinism against the women, all kinds of discrimination they wanted from me. Because you know, upon the fall of the Soviet Union, it's a new threat that emerges from the shadow of the Soviet Union. From the greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. Oh, you motherfuckers, you fucking whack jobs. 
Oh boy, you're fucking sick. It makes me so sick. You have no fucking idea that I have to do it. It really does this stuff. And they know about it's going to make me sick. When I would be doing this. And that's why also they sicken. This also, that's why they also sicken. This is bullshit here. That you see. We're going to get to this stuff. It's not just, no. No, it's not okay that the women have to pay for the same thing, 86 euros. And you, because you are a male, you have to pay 138 euros. But this is the stuff they insisted me uh, is your best bet that you will present your case. No, this is not the case at all. I am presenting this case through a Google phishing. And I am presenting this case through United Nations representatives whom the police have instructed on how to see things right in front of me where they tortured me together in front of the computer inside of this house on how to see things. This here, this price is here don't mean anything that you see here. This is about the most expensive fishing license in the world. And you don't know nothing about how much this fishing license costs. Unless you click here, on this link here. And when you click on this link here, this link will take you to this page here that should be, in fact, at the top of the page because this is called a membership. Because this page from people from Novel Mesto Fishing Association admitted that an MK Ultra should not even exist. The page that you see here should not even exist because it's this page here that explains the real cost of the fishing license. The membership alone costs you, if you, in my case, 170 euros. The membership. Once you become a member, then you are entitled to go and pay also for what you see here below that was demonstrated to you as the first thing. But what I find fascinating is, and when I go here, and it says here, Celanarina, I wasn't able to see this earlier, this stuff here. I hope I was not as mad, I was not as angry about it. But I haven't seen any of that stuff. And I might just have a proof about that. I'm not sure. That's why I loaded something that I already have even end up deleting it. And I actually go here and see what I have fly fishing, whatever. What I have, uh, exactly I was dealing with when doing the first time this video. Not the first time. This, is the, this was already too late for me. The first time I did not even video record this stuff. It is how far this obsession, literally to get somebody killed. So that we are not going to go so slow with this stuff. I'm going to fast rewind this stuff. And uh, as I go, uh, I have gone through exactly the same trap as I'm demonstrating now. Um, they even talk about the price and stuff like this, if you pay attention to it. Uh, but they will not give you the main fees, which is actually, these are, these are the fees. These are the fees associated with, um, uh-huh, here. I had enough because I couldn't access the costs. And so I entered here, a new, new search criteria, uh, exactly the one that I demonstrated you. Dovolilnica članarina, kontakt članarina, 
So what we have already from the menu that you see here is already a different menu that you are able to see. I have page, to demonstrate. You know, they offer, like you see right there, to pop them. just what it appears it's, to me. A day. I did this uh, ticket. I'm going to stop this stuff here, and I'm going to go ahead. This is what this actually amounts to. When you're going to see when I do all the calculation and everything, it's going to come that it amounts to 383 euros. So that you're going to understand what the cost of the psychiatric hospital is. Actually, psychiatric fishing license, as they told me sadistically. It's going to be worse when you are out on open than when you are inside of the psychiatric hospital. <laughs> And it's what they told me, and I told you, repeated you, and asked you, and begged you to help me. 20 years back already on the internet, I begged you, and begged you, and begged you to help me, and you didn't. I told you. When you are young, it's going to be psychiatric medications. It's going to be diseases. It's going to be world of pain, suffering, sorrow. When you get old and sick, that's when you're going to have everything. Remember when I was agging you, begging you, told you this is what they were telling me during the torture? And what have you done for me at the United Nations? Remember this? This here is already is not okay. This is already not okay. This here, it says fishing licenses, you see it? You see it? Look at it. It's a scam. And I managed to video record the scam. Look at it. It's called fishing licenses. And this is these are membership fees. Look at it. See it? But in between, you have something that's known as a contract. I'm not going to say only technically, but what I was repeated from the uh, contact, contact is not. But this here, this, I was told by the Fishing Association alone, should not even exist in the first place because it doesn't give you information about this. And on which page, by the way, you get all the information, the information which also includes the price, the cost for this. What is to you the information about uh, fishing license costs when a membership fees cost more money? than the fishing license and you cannot have fishing license without the membership fees what is to you worth what is to you worth it to know how much the fishing license uh, costs when a membership fees are much higher than the fishing license fees and you cannot get fishing license without paying for membership fees. It's a scam. It's a scam after scam after scam after scam. Look at it. See it? Screenshot. We go back. We zoom out like this again. So I'm going to tell you how they keep changing this. They keep changing. Look at that. They are interactive. Look, the same Google search, the same thing. But now we have this. Why are you changed now? Why did you now change? Ah, uh, fuck this. Look at it. Why did you change the information? So this is the second strike that will confirm that this is about the psychiatry. 
why do you keep changing? Why do you keep changing the order of this? Do you pay attention? All of a sudden you have a contact on the top. The next one that comes is Dovolilnica, is a fishing license. And the third one that comes is a Chlanarina, is a membership fees. Why the fuck are you doing this? Pay attention to this stuff here. Look at it. Here? You set as a search party matter one, fishing license. Two is a contact. Three is a membership fees. But in this case here, the same thing. We have number two on the first place. We have number one on the second place. And we have number three that should be actually the one on the first place. We have this one here on the third place. So you are playing. You are you are inter interactively playing with a with a juggle. You are doing these things. I'm going to use this to give you a second strike about the stuff you did. Next to attempt to portray me as mentally ill. So I prove you that they are they are using this kind of stuff to play with this stuff. The claim is valid. Look, look at it. Look at it. Let's go to the beginning. Look at it. Good. Ribishka Drujina Novo Mesto. You see it? It says fishing license right on the top. It says contact right below. And afterwards, it follows up. It says Chelanarina membership fees. Why do you do that stuff to the people? Why do you do this to me? Obviously, I explained the reason. Yeah, the search criterion is the same. It, it says Ribishka Drujina Novo Mesto. Uh, tickets and also uh, the membership okay. fee is the same criteria. Look, look at it. Ribishka Drujina Novo Mesto. So, what are you doing with this stuff? Why are you doing? Why are you changing this stuff? What are you trying to portray me as mentally ill? Why are you doing this to the people? Then we go to the second part. The second part is this one here. Look at it. You see it? You click on two parts. One part is completely idiotic. This is this front page. That what they do is they filter, they stink the page with a completely non relevant information. They take some more shit and they throw in your face basically when you visit. And I was the one who's supposed to swallow this because they keep me jobless for this purpose, for this Walt Disney world of the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, for this Slovenian police state. So they can they can they can have they can and leave themselves in that in that psychopathic psycho bullshit. My name is Milan Kuchan, Your Majesty. My name is Milan, Milan Kuchan. I'm trying to picture myself to see what imbecile like Milan Kuchan, what what he is, what how he see himself, how he's hiding himself, and all this, how he, how he. Uh, The mechanisms basically that used to protect this mask they place all over my face, labeling me as mentally ill. Your word against their word. How he feels safe, because I want to know how this motherfucker sits in front of the TV, how he eats the food. How he goes to the stores. How he interacts with the people. Actually, I want to know about the illusion in his head. 
about how he thinks he's going to walk free like the nobody see him, the nobody knows him. I was asked about why am I not explaining this stuff in Slovenian language. See this? What they do is they dump right at the top of this page. They dump it right at the top of this page here. Look at it. Fishing license. And you're going to have the bullshit information. Look at that. Who the fuck cares about the daily, about the daily fishing license? Who the fuck cares about the daily fishing license? Do I care? Do I care? By the way, buddy. It would make sense if I turn this to the British or German or whatever they have. Oh, yeah, they have everything explained also. The value tourist is exactly good. It's very good. Dollars appreciated. Who cares about the daily fishing license? Do I give a fuck about the fishing daily license? Why the fuck is this on the top? Again, what they do is they take sand and keep throwing sand in the people's eyes. This should be obviously on the bottom, just as the criminals from the police station and the criminals from the fishing association alone sit in front of the computer with these United Nations people, tutoring one another how to lie, how misinterpretate about it. You got this stuff here about catch and release license? Really? At the top of the page? Because this is what the fuck matters? Really? I didn't know about that. So you keep throwing shit in the hands of uh, people that anybody would go and would look into it? Don't understand Slovenian language? Well, they really have to understand more than Slovenian language. You have to understand the scam so that you could get to the information. And here finally it says... Only from the members, he says, the cost for the fishing license. And it's done in a such a funny way. Like I said, this page should not even exist because it doesn't demonstrate anywhere, any fucking anywhere, the fishing license fees, the membership fees, I should say. It doesn't say anywhere. anywhere. And this membership license fees are actually bigger than the fish and license cost. Do you know that? So why? Why the fuck is it that you see this page, this page here, exist when it should not even exist in reality? Why do you do this stuff? Well, the answer is... Well done. Only if you click here where it says Chlanarina, you will access the page I'm going to demonstrate. You can also access through the page that should not exist. So we go back to the page that should not exist. That's a Dovolilnice. We're going to go to this one here. We're going to scroll down. And I'm going to click this little link here which says Vech or Chlanarini. More about the membership. Wow. This is where reality strikes. And this is where they cut straight to the business. With also what is below explained, membership fees. And they rationalize this kind of scam through what I demonstrated you earlier, it's like if you click here, information in British, in English, or German, or I don't know, what is this, French, Italian, whatever, what they, instead of they give you, they pop you some brochure about fishing on a Kirka River with pictures and stuff, fish and so on. How 
crap this is. This is sick, man. This shit here, too, is done deliberately, like, with a finger in your ass, basically, if you are a visitor. So that you would not be served, ultimately, the first, here it's where the license fees should be, right? The first thing you want to know is how much it costs, right? And then it's all that other stuff that would apply to you, right? But this is the stuff that's done like this so they can cover up with this kind of stuff that I demonstrated you. So that instead you get the bullshit information, you get the non-essential for you information. You don't get you as a, as a visitor... You don't get any kind of information because this shit is all done in Slovenian language. It's not even in Italian or uh, whatever. And they do this stuff so that if, they, if you are Slovenian, you go and you waste time with this stuff here. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's what they, listen, this is very easy for me to understand. But the point here is they were so technical that I have to be even more technical to demonstrate you what is inside of these heads of these people. They wanted the psychiatry, so they're going to get fucking psychiatry. What is it they offer here? They claim, when you come to this page, you're going to see it, they're going to say, oh, this is not bad. Yeah, this is normal. Anywhere in Europe is a price like this. Yeah, this, this is okay. And you're going to say 80 days of fishing for the Cypronids. Uh, that includes pike and catfish. Uh, what is this here? 140 euros? Yeah, this is normal. And uh, you're going to say, just like I'm talking like the way they say they portray to lie this, the way they instructed to lie people from United Nations. They're going to say, oh, 86 euros, that, that's not bad. That, that's also not bad. That's also not bad. That, that's not bad. And now, hopefully, the person will die. The true never will come out. He fuck him. He's mentally ill anyways. <laughs> this isn't bad at all. 80 days. Oh, yeah, I mean... So it says here, the la for the ladies, it's $86, 86 euros, and for the males, it's $138. But, you know, 138 euros, here it can still be. He can buy for less money. He can go and buy himself for 30 days, and he could go and fish. He's, he says that he cannot go fishing and stuff like that. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> with a little luck, he'll be dead. No one know what's going on anyways. <laughs> well, the truth is such that when you click on this button here, it becomes evident. Or, yes, or if you click on this button here, that it says here, Achalanarina, it's the same thing. It will take you also to the same page, like I demonstrated you. This is where the uh, reality comes to play. And now let's go. We're going to check this out. 120 euros is what uh, members of the fishing association have to pay. So you have to pay 120 euros. And in my case, which is not to my knowledge that this would be anywhere in the world. Something like this. Once you become a member, like I stated, it was more difficult than to pass the car exam. You know, the car examination was not as difficult as this. And you don't pay your dues yearly, this dues here. you become compelled to pay another 50 euros for what is you have to enroll yourself back for enrollment into the fishing association because they automatically throw you out of the fishing association.
as soon as you do not pay every year 120 euros. It's the same thing like a car you have parked in the garage. If the car is not registered, and it's only parked inside of the garage in Slovenia, my car that is worth 550 euros I paid for, used old car I purchased, I want to have an old timer, whatever, something for myself. And so I, I bought this Citroën, something that would remind me of MK Ultra. And if you don't pay your dues, you have to return the license and pay. Uh, just to keep one inside of the garage, he came to me the other day. I already published on the internet. It's 40 euros per year. Even if you don't drive one, just to have one parked inside of the garage without the license plates, it's got to be 40 euros you have to pay. My mother hurried up to scream at me. It's because of the Roma people. It's because of the Roma people. Because on one end, you have... People like uh, Milan Kuchan, Prince Charles, King Charles, Washington, D.C., Jews from employment, equal employment opportunity, warning the humanity about the threat, about the neo-Nazi threat emerges from the shadows of the Iron Curtain. And on the other hand, you have people like Zmago Jelinczyk. And luckily, I like about that, he's also a Jew. He's a Slovenian Jew. This is this guy here. I really like it. I like one thing about him. Zmago, you see, the victorious. He called himself also... Uh, he is also he is a dignin. Uh, he uh, he's got uh, he's got uh, also the name Plemeniti. He gave himself a name Plemeniti. Zmago Jelinczyk Plemeniti, like a Slavyansky Slavansky. It means it means Zmago. It means the name is Victorious uh, Jelinczyk, and then it says Plemeniti. It means it means. Uh, it means, uh, how can I say, plemeniti, that means like, uh, I don't even actually know this. Uh, I have to use the dictionary. We're going to use that one. Plemeniti. Plemeniti, uh, that is like in the Slovenian language, noble. It's like a noble. This is, this is his last name, is noble. The noble... Slavyansky, Slavyansky, uh, Zmagos, Magislav, Jelinčić, and also he's a Jew. I like that. Because it's perfect for my case. Not that he would want that, but I do. He's got his son. He's got his son even inside of the Israel he lives. Yes, I'm not kidding. He was he was during MK Ultra. He was all about the Israel. And he was about also something else. He became a teacher. He became a personal teacher also for Slovenian people, how to discriminate Roma people. He became a tutor, he became a teacher, he became a, he became a, let me demonstrate to you this. He would go to the TV, he would go to the public uh, stations, um, and well, he would uh, the public uh, he would he would make a show uh, all the time you see here tigani tigani tigoiner tigo roma 
uh, demonstrated basically how they uh, how they steal the money from the pockets. It's a Roma people that do it all this stuff. He is all the time. He is all the time in inciting into anti-Roma sentiment. A real Jew in Slovenia, all the time after Roma people. But he called himself. But no, no, he called himself as a Slovenian National Party, Slovenska Nacionalna Stranka. Evo, evo ovako, evo. <laughs> this is like perfect. It's like totally, totally perfect. The Roma people are the most afraid. If you ask any Roma people in Slovenia, who are they the most afraid in Slovenia? <laughs> Obviously, it uh, is a glorious Slovenian, a glorious Zmago Jelintit uh, Plemeniti. And then what they do is they uh, they play uh, uh, a hide and find uh, with the courts and with the police, and they give him uh, uh, here and there some penalty, and he'll go and he'll play himself as a Christ. And what they do is they look for the people uh, that would indicate any kind of anything to afterwards portray the new threat that is emerging from the Soviet Iron Curtain. That's basically a Nazism. So it's where people become unemployed and they become a new prospect for the so-called MP-Ultra. Yes, and they start to sicken them. Then they, basically, they deliver together with their American partners, Israel. They deliver Guantanamo inside of their homes surrounded their families and turned their lives into a living hell, assuming there is another person like myself in Slovenia. But in my case, it started with the age one. Um, before, as the ladies claimed, even my little penis would raise itself up. I'm going to have the beautiful video coming about the, the fire the Windsor Castle fire of 1992 is the next. You should definitely see that video about the Windsor Castle fire in 1992, where I explain in very great details about what it means for your penis being used literally as an indicator, as an MK Ultra indicator, how that kind of stuff is done. It's like really bizarre stuff. But about MK Ultra, really, there is nothing that is not bizarre, because the goal is to portray the person. If you're not going to make one mentally ill, at least you must portray one to look as mentally ill. And you can only do this with a Walt Disney, basically. Psychiatric ranch, basically, is what the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch referred to our house here in the novel. It's a psychiatric ranch, basically. Ranch when you can come and you can psychiatric ranch on open MK Ultra Ranch open became a tourist attraction for all the people around the world. They would travel here and they would see, they would get to see personally with their own eyes this bestiality really. Finally, now they are learning about what this is all was all about. Before it was only from the words of the psychiatrists and the police. Now it's also coming out of my mouth. So to have all these things going, you need also somebody publicly to do this type of stuff. And, you know, all right. Let me see if I can show you his son in the Israel. He is like a totally, totally talented. He also loves Vladimir Putin. He is about, he loves Vladimir Putin. And, and he, he just lately came out that he is actually not so. Stuff I'm saying to you are facts.
His wife was also Jewish. He made sure that his wife would be Jewish. Zmago um, Yelinic, Sin, Israel. I'm going to do this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 the name was uh, Boeta. Is Boeta is this is the this is the one, and this is the Boeta Boeta Berta uh, passed away maybe in 1997. I don't even know what the story is behind that one. I have to pay attention yet to these people. I don't actually have a time to play with this stuff here, but. Um, Uh, he moved when he was 18 years old. That's his son to the Israel. Yeah. So this is like this is like a completely la -ra -ri, la -ra. you hear those swines that are barking in the background uh, when I did the mix of the audio of the Israeli anthem with the swines crying right behind. This is what I'm singing to you right now. This is what we have. Slovenia is asylum right out on the open. So they wanted the asylum. Uh, they want the fight. And I'm up for it. I want to give the best of myself uh, so that another person that's going to do this uh, is going to use me as a reference. They're going to use Slovenia as a reference. Not only this, they, they, I want people to use around the world Slovenia as a reference, basically, on what they are doing. Croats call this kind of stuff as a psycho-Stalinism. Uh, uh, psycho-Stalinism. The thing is, the Croats didn't do shit for me. And the thing is that, in many ways, this type of people are actually even white guards, people that collaborated with the Nazis, with the Hitler, and they are acting pretending they're something they're actually not so they could create a turmoil, uh, raise the suspicion that something is wrong for their own political agenda. We also have to be careful so that my work is not going to fall into the hands of some Jews from Berlin or some Jews from Washington, D.C., London Jews with the Nazi swastikas. It's just a very little difference. There's no, actually no difference between the Jew in Israel today with his David Star and between the Jew with swastika in Berlin or in London, uh, for that matter, wherever the hell uh, Donald Trump's are. coming on a surface to demonstrate, basically, the resurgence of the biggest threat to humanity through the fall of the Soviet Iron Curtain. Yeah, but I'm thinking about this British films, this British industry, this Hollywood industry, the way they portray this Russian people with a with a, such a funny language, like like the way they talk and stuff like this. I'm being so fucking cynical, not because it will, I will have a lack of intellect or something, but I'm being fucking cynical, imitating Hollywood voices even. to give you a great idea how stupid this stuff is and what you have done. Like I said, reality, my reality had to be much graver, much sicker, much worse than the crimes of the Nazi Germany so that it would come into reality. 
my reality when matched to description of the German neo-Nazi bestiality during the World War II was much worse. It had to be much worse. It had to be much worse. For Milan Kutzan to flourish. For Milan Kutzan. It's how the Serbs say. It is a letter such as Ch in Slovenian and soft T in Serbian. Even in Croatian, whatever it is. But I'm doing this stuff because I'm sarcastic. And I'm even sadistic, actually, at this point. Giving you back exactly in the same way as you were doing with me to make you feel what MK Ultra feels like. Actually, what MK Ultra felt like, and what I'm trying to make, do my best to make you feel like about the stuff you did to me. With a fact. But there is nothing you can do other than wait for the police cars to come to pick you up. Isn't that fucking horrible thing when you had all these things? The psychiatric hospital, courts, and now all you can is basically listening to me and wait for the police vehicle to come to pick you up. You wanted the best, you're going to get more. I'm not happy with what you suggested to me, how it should be. 120 euros. I'm going to add these numbers together like this. Well, the numbers are added here, basically. 120 euros. 45 euros, 5 euros adds to 170 euros. But if you go back to what I demonstrated you earlier, um, you would be mentally ill. You would be mentally ill, absolutely. I think you would definitely fit in here. If you do like fish, to eat fish, and I grew up here, it was, my food always was fish. I did not even like chicken. I had chicken like a second resort. And it was this type of stuff based on forced unemployment that was used to compel me to eat garbage, junk that I would never even touch. I told you about how I was instructed as a baby to eat chocolate, to beat the depression which would result naturally out of MK Ultra bestiality and was unavoidable due to the amount of stress deliberately done. However, I would not eat any chocolates. I would only eat chocolates if there would be a chocolate or something like that. In real life, my main fish, uh, food, was fish. When I say fish, fish is what there ever was. I would not even eat bread. I would eat French potato, it would be, but I would not eat any other food other than fish. So, if you did watch by any chance, and I'm going to demonstrate you at the end of this stuff, what, what pours down my throat, sweets, all kinds of garbage, trash, because they didn't do enough damage with the psyche, even with the psychiatric medications when they locked me up inside of that hospital and tortured me inside of this hospital in 2012. Talking about the British Jew from London. They did not. Still alive, still going. It was a time for the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch to make his sales, like I demonstrated you. I never eat chocolates. I would eat cake once per year when it was my birthday time. 
if they would make some cake at home and somebody would bother, that would be it. The rest of it, it was completely different food. Even the eggs, I would barely eat. I survived purely on a saltwater fish and on a sweetwater fish. Fish I would even catch myself. Bread, tomato salads, chicken. What you refer to as like the healthiest food. Except that in my case, it really was not, never was exceptionally expensive, but always was with the lowest cost. Now they even took that away from me. So that he would not be. 170 euros. And I stated to you, if you would go and pay 170 euros, and you would not allow yourself 80 days, fishing days, I would say that you're mentally ill. If you want 80 days, then you have to add to 170, you have to add another 138 euros, and that's 308 euros. And then you have another 30 days for the Salmonids below. It will also cost you 75 euros. And with what I stated right there, you would only have 110 days for fishing that you could go and do. 30 days you could go and fish trouts. Um, there is another fish also. And the 80 days you could go and fish cyprinids. That's basically like fish like carps, plate fish, that kind of stuff. Uh, but also pike and uh, catfish. Well, this all together, since I did since I did wrong, this is 138 plus oh. Uh, This altogether cost you 213 euros. And then you will have to add to this. This kind of fee. That is 170 euros. This is insane, 383 euros. That's practically 400 euros. Three hundred and eighty-three euros for fishing on a Kirka River. And as I stated in 2008, in 2007 was first time I went fishing since I exited Slovenia in 95. And I think it was like two years before that I would not even go and fish. Since like 93, it was in 2008, first time in 2007, I used one full season for fishing. They exercised assassination attempt even, knowing where I would go fish. Exactly accordingly to MK Ultra scenario. I told you about how they replaced the tires with the worn out tires that I almost killed myself. A Ribnik pond known as Blato near Trebnia city. It was extremely expensive fishing. It costed me, I don't know how much money it costed me, but it destroyed me. Car that had 20,000 miles on it. And then I had to pay for the parts. And then because the parts were stolen, paid him for, but stolen, never delivered. As I requested assistance from Novo Mesto police. 
which president was, I think his name is uh, Vučković, a Serb, president for the fishing association. What they would do is they started to harass me. They started to investigate me for declining to investigate my case. They lost the case at their own police station. It was decided by the civil court. But they dispatched against me a local psychiatrist, social workers, asking me about what is going on with my work. Disallowing me absolutely anything, any explanation about applications I sent or even having the right to file for unemployment or employment assistance, job search at the local employment agency in the city of the Novo Mesto, which anticipated would get me killed upon return to Slovenia for the first time in 11 and a half years from the United States of America in 2006 when they orchestrated with the police through the insults they anticipated that it would develop into the physical confrontation, verbal confrontation at the local office, just the same way like the fishing bureau where I was the other day. I told you they had police officers prepared, trained, uh, and only waiting to come to assistance to them for any kind of disagreement, for anything like this, they would call for the police. Yeah? So this is the world is most expensive psychiatric fishing license that the world have ever heard of. That's why I'm dedicating this video. I'm not dedicating this video only to this scum here from Novo Mesto City at this fishing association that was that engaged in bestiality against me since my age one but to entire slovenia it's like i told you if they don't know my name wherever they go you ask them about my name this is my name And they don't know about my name, and they tell you they know about his name. I don't give a fuck what you do with them. I'm a 0, 0.000, just like a police investigator, or laughing at me inside of my house. Whatever, 0.001%, whatever. One out of 2.2 million. But I am. And I am here to give you a reference. There is such a stuff as Slovenia. There is such a stuff as extermination procedure in what is known as a so-called first world. And it's more bestial than anywhere else in the world. And it goes all through what you see here. And when I say it goes all through what you see here, it goes all through the courts, through the Slovenian judiciary system, through the Slovenian Supreme Court, which was involved in it, they involved the courts, they involved the judges, they would participate in what they refer to as a MK Ultra. It was MK Ultra. It's MK Ultra when the judge tells you that you are dead, don't even think about going anywhere. It's MK Ultra when they dedicate you defense attorneys. Because you don't have in your pocket not even one dime. 
like it was in my case. Since 2005, I had to survive completely on my own life savings, which I told you, they burned them, destroyed them, steal them, even deposits for my stay, wherever I rented throughout the United States of America and so on. They used, I pay for the rent, and I would disappear and would appear exactly when the rent was due in Norway to pay for another rent. It was this kind of stuff that went on. It was this kind of stuff that took 52 years of my life. My life had to be worse than the crimes of the neo-Nazi Germany. So the Jew from Washington, D.C., so the Jew from London, so the Jew from Tel Aviv, Ljubljana, and Moscow could come to the same terms on acting together against the evil that is that became as Queen Elizabeth. A, a new threat emerges the world. And it doesn't matter if many of these Jews are white guards, neo-Nazis themselves, as it became evident, they kill for the same agenda as Adolf Hitler did. That doesn't matter. The, what matters is that Southern Poverty Law Center can keep up with the myth, with the lie, they can have the jobs, they can rationalize the free handouts, that the people can complain. Black lives matters. Black lives matters. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Remember that stuff? That's you doing this kind of stuff. You don't care about. You didn't care about. Until now, you didn't care about. That's Barack Obama. On one side, an Uncle Tom collecting corruption, dollars filling his pockets. And on the other hand, a hatred prejudice and that's me i have gone through all this on every continent in every part of the world i have seen faces on my own skin I became a fishing member of this association when I was just probably, I don't know how old I was. Um, I don't know. I think the father enrolled me when I was four years old or something like this. I don't know. I think I was four years old or even younger. And uh, this is what this British cholera, this British black death, this uh, black purge, I think is what they call this. Um, I don't even know about these diseases, they, they, uh, in English, how you would say that. Plague, whatever they call this, made out of my life, this acquaintance with this royale people with this royal with this exclusive with this people who just needed this kind of stuff so they could demonstrate their humane face to the world they needed the evil so they could look good so they could look themselves in a mirror associate mingle with but it's actually really not difficult because all you take is a bundle of cash and you'll fucking throw them stash them in their mouths and they fucking keep quiet that's all there is to it.
That's all it was. I was the other day at this fishing association. I was asking about, inquiring about this fees. And I did so because I just want to buy them for the father, the fishing license. Because at Hope for Elderly People, there is a stream where I was going to take him out and we would go and fish in that stream. There is no fish, whatever. Yeah, there is some fish in there, but whatever. The purpose was to take him out on the fresh air and so on. And they told me. This is basically what the license fee is here. This is what it is. This is what it comes to. Right in front of my nose? Yes. Accessible? No. Uh, Metlika, as you see right there, Bela Kraina. Hey. This is a psychiatric sale of the food Bela. that psychiatrist Peter Kafsch had made nice. a few days ago when I took my mother this, uh, to, particular, on April the 2nd, when I took her to Bela Kraina, I was told it's uh, very for what my mother demanded uh, uh, would be change replacement of guess and it was the route that was used on more than a million occasions by the neighbor here by the method German. this method a police investigator who was involved in this stuff was the one that would take exactly these locations that's exactly was the area that most of the torture went on and i did most of the torture that's that was a fucking bestiality over there all right in bella Kraina that went on they were always looking, but it was not only in Bela Krajina, it was also in other parts of Slovenia. In some parts of Slovenia, they kicked them out. They didn't want them anymore. People became selective, whatever happened. And they were always looking for a horse. There was always ways they would use my father's car to transport me with, next to my mom. Finally, they would start to use, beginning in the 2015, to be to to be unseen in that car. They became suspicious, obviously, of the people. They started to use the car more and more transport also from my niece and her husband, who would provide the service. And the Bluetooth-like device inside of the car, the police vehicles will follow us and will act exactly in identical way as to what police would during transport to Bela Kaina and so on. So this was a trip to Croatia, actually, right across the border, only across the border, and it was very good because I identified some people, identify some stuff. It's important stuff I have to put online. But this is a store right before uh, this Bela Kraina. And my mother did exactly what she stated she would do. She just... The day when I would not be shaved, the day when I would not be clean, or I would be just go to pick her up to the father, is the day that she selected it would be the time to go change uh, gas. And so I drove to Croatia because it's a so much cheaper gas, but they would not change the gas because it's a different kind. They have some kind of contract, which was also done during MK Ultra in respect to gas that doesn't permit them to trade bottles, the gas bottles, with the Slovenian bottles and stuff like that. Um, only due to the color of the bottle. In, right there is the food they fed me with. It was said that this Graham raisin bread, this, this one was extremely, in particular, damaging. Very poisonous. This is what they put on specials, basically, yeah, to remind me of where I was. Like this. And I stop at the store, it's called Eurospin, right on the border with Croatia on the Slovenian side. 
with the sausage that you see right there. Sausage was advertised a very cheap. Healthy. That's supposed to be like in but particularly poison. Itself. They're going to put this on a special price and they really did. It was supposed to be price like was like 60 cents like later on. Just yeah, as the psychiatrist that... Peter Kapshev stated, you should not buy one. You should buy yourself something rather good. Later on, when you're going to come home and you will review the receipt, you will see it was actually more expensive than other stuff that was of a much higher quality. Uh, and then you see again here, you see more of this Graham bread. This is, I understand in particular it was bad. Whatever. Costing way more than that. Totally, totally accordingly with MK Ultra brainwash. But one thing I have to tell you about this. Uh, this is basically this man, Posebna. psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, making a psychiatric sales, literally. Uh, why did I stop at this store? Because I wear exactly the same clothing as during MK Ultra. And it was said that if I would go to this location with the very same clothing, they would use all video recordings to rationalize whenever they delivered me to MKUltra locations, suggest me basically that the old video recordings that some people might have had fit exactly the video recordings of uh, present. I increased the weight, not to that degree, but with the same clothing, and if not, with the sharp cameras. This is what the police uh, already started to use, this type of technology to, for whoever would have old recordings about me to dismantle. Their ability to portray me uh, during MK Ultra in other parts of the world, in this case, was also in Croatia. So the psychiatrist used this opportunity to push me that. And knowing about this issue, I went ahead and purchased the clothing in another store where I would go in a way to Bela Kraina, where they would always take me during their MK Ultra bestiality. Whenever they would go to Croatia, they would go to Croatia all the time because the police was changing the gas. This method, this Yerman here, the neighbor from the Kirka village, the next door that he is, he's all the time at this gas station in Croatia. He goes there to change the gas. He is purchasing the gas from there. They were purchasing the gas because it's cheaper. Basa, where it says they always had this kind of price already when the price was special maybe even shit or something like this which is it 2024 so this is what mother have hidden away from um she would actually hide this receipt um you know much i'm gonna say everything and anything for the psychiatrist Peter Kapp, so he could make his sales. This is all from the psychiatrist This was also sale. This is all the on stuff on that bill. It's also visible. This, this Bela is the stuff he purchased. Uh, Today I opened Eurospin, one. I can the my store stuff. was uh, where we purchased uh, the stuff. And, I would only uh, purchase discounted stuff. It's amazing. It's really, really. It's truly, truly amazing. It says nothing. No gluten. No whatever. Whatever salt, whatever the issue might be, I mean, let's do it like this so that I catch this barcode here. Uh, the thing about it, it was is not only like, bread. The thing about it is that the first thing I did, I cooked this stuff. This was the first thing. Uh, you I can eat this raw, this but garbage I cook it because uh, twice I cooked. 
and the third time I was still rinsing what you see is floating right at the top. Grease. It's unlimited. With the grease, it looks like this. Never seen a fucking thing like this. They would sell <laughs> the stuff like this. Unbelievable stuff. Anywhere. This I'm is gonna demonstrate all you. fat, basically. I've never seen anything like this. You know what the fuck this is? This is this stuff here, look. This. Sorry, uh, this is like this, this type of stuff. Pursuit. Pursuto, I don't know how you say it. This kind of stuff. Uh, usually it's really high quality. Usually you can eat this and it's not such a high fat. Uh, but in this case, this was like uh, the whole pieces of this uh, spech is what they call this. Uh, um, hold on, we're gonna we're gonna do this stuff here. Now we have a problem every here and there with that they do with the internet, whatever the fuck they do. It's gonna fix this quickly. They disconnect uh, internet adapters. They do all kinds of stuff like this. So it should work now. We're going to do it again. There you go. And it's going to work normally. Maybe. Maybe not. Usually this is not a problem. Usually this is. Usually this is a clean meat, good meat to eat without you having absolutely anything like this to deal with. Usually this would never be the case. Uh, but on that day, when the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was making with the Slovenian police a psychiatric sale across the border of what was gas, I got only the best food on the plate. And finally, this is about the most expensive fish and lices in the world, and it deserves such attention. They worked so hard, and it's my job to give them actually more than what they worked for. I have to pay their bills, and I will pay their bills. You want to murder people at the World Health Organization at the United Nations. I'm going to pay you bills. I'm going to demonstrate you exactly for what you are, for what you have done. And you were involved since my childhood into this stuff. Why? Why? Why do you hate so much? Why, why are you so evil? Why do you do this stuff? Why do you need to portray the evil that does not exist? So that you can pay for your bills, so that you can have a jobs. Because you became an industry. You became an industry of debt. You don't secure the peace. You don't serve your purpose, what you were established for. You became this. This is what you are. This is what United Nations are. This is what you are. There is a memorial dedicated to the Auschwitz. I will build a memorial dedicated to the victims of World Health Organization, United Nations, in other words, psychiatry. I will portray United Nations as a psychiatry, as a pure, pure industry of death, the so-called human rights. This is my task, my legacy to this life, so that you can thank Slovenia. So you will say, you will say, Slovenia, thank you, thank you very much. You will who fuck you. If you will know Slovenia, you will know it for one thing, and this is the thing you will know. I said earlier that it doesn't matter if you will know, if you know Slovenia, 
as long as you know my name. And I remember the police investigators that told me, if you're not going to cook this first, you are already fucked. But what they are doing, they are clogging the veins, basically. They are, the heart. They are this trying is a to cardiovascular clog the veins death, as much basically. as possible. Stress, shit, garbage, um, eat shit, garbage, shit, live like a shit. Heart, basically, is what they like target. like shit. Yeah, this is like the main thing. And, you know. You get the fucking handout, basically, whatever mama gives you, basically, this is it. 52 years old, educated for maintenance mechanic, for mechanical engineering technician. I know it's not a whole a lot, you know, but when I graduated, it was a $30 an hour job. You could work on planes, you can work in industry, you can work in car manufacturing, you could work at metalworking, you could work at anywhere you fucking want. The minimum you would get paid probably is at $22 an hour. But that was in year 1991 when I finished. And, you know, my salary, one month, for one month of work in Slovenia, for my education, would not even purchase me the membership fees from the local fishing associations. That's how much I got paid in metal working for 60 hours a week at the Chertalich. I got 100 euros per month, if you want to know why I immigrated to the United States of America. You fucking shame of you. I'm going to put you this page here, is this dedicated to Slovenia, to Slovenia, Slavensky, Slavansky, Slavojko, Fukojevko. Fuck you. Something that you're going to remember me about. That I gave you the next time when you file claim against the United Nations. Don't hesitate. Because they are not out there to help. They are out there to poison our minds. They're out there to murder us. They're out there to kill us. They're out there to create humanity according to their taste, according to their expectativa, expectations. They want to run the world whichever way they feel like, through the crookery, through the methods indifferent from Adolf Hitler. And it doesn't matter how long they go by wherever it takes, wherever it takes.